Well, the running of the Kentucky Derby just about 24 hours away now, and some fans are still wondering about which horse might win. Some people don't want to rely on luck. They want to make a good decision on how to place a bet. Yeah, our John Last is one of those people. He enlisted some help in this edition of The Last Word. been known to come here to Prescott Downs and Casino to watch horse racing and I usually come here to place a bet on the Kentucky Derby. Now I usually pick a horse because I like the sound of its name but this year I want to be a little more scientific. For years I've watched other bettors with their programs and their pencils absorbing all the data and studying all the horses. What information are they looking for? Well this year, I've enlisted a mentor, Patrick Morell. He's a simulcast host for the live racing at Prescott Downs. He loves the Kentucky Derby. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. It is the greatest two minutes in sports. There's no question about that. Everybody gravitates to this race every year. Patrick says betting on horse racing is a very cerebral game. If you want to do well, you have to grab a program and do your homework. He says the program will show if a horse has early speed out of the gate. Some people look for that. But Patrick says there's not many horses in this year's Kentucky Derby that have early speed. I think that might be a little bit of an angle. The one Todd Pletcher horse very much loves the front end, and he may be, he may be okay uh, this year, called King's Barn. That horse of Pletcher's has the best early speed. Let's see if anybody goes with him. Patrick admits that it does take luck for a horse to win the Kentucky Derby. He says a horse needs what he calls a clean trip. That's having an open lane from the start to the finish line with no traffic in the way. Sometimes a deep closer can find that open lane. The program has information on those horses too. There are plenty of deep closers in here this year, John, so that's what you have to decide. Patrick liked practical move as a deep closer, but that horse has been scratched. His top closers now are Angel of Empire and Tap It Trice. Wow, many horses have a shot to win. It's hard to choose. Patrick says a novice handicapper like me might want to box all my selections in an exacta. I can choose as many horses as I want to come in first and second. Any combo of those selections could pay off. Well, here goes. Time to bet. After listening to Patrick, I'm going to put $2 on King's Barn to win. But going by my old system of picking a horse by its name, I'm going to pick two Phils because I used to have a news director named Phil. With the last word at Prescott Downs Casino, John Last, Erie News Now. <laughs> tell you, John's breaking the bank, putting $2 out there. If you'd like to place a bet like John, Prescott Downs and Casino will host a Kentucky Derby party on the patio tomorrow. Yeah, it will begin at 2 p.m. tomorrow. It will feature food trucks and outside bar racing on the big screen. And there's even a fancy hat contest that will begin at 5 p.m. And you heard Patrick mention Angel of Empire. Mm -hmm. That is the Pennsylvania bred horse from Schuylkill County, PA, on the other side of the Commonwealth.